This looks like, I kid you not, a mummified pterodactyl wing. It looks awesome. And I don't know about the wingspan, but I'm about to find out. I'm gonna see if Whoa. it- Oh. Oh. Are you sure we can eat this? Texas. No one does meat bigger. That is amazing. Better. Oh my god. Look at that. More beefier. Oh my god. Today I'm taking on the barbecue meat challenge at the State Fair of Texas. I'm taking down as many beautiful barbecue creations as humanly possible. Luckily, I'm not alone. Yo, great to finally meet you, man. Food reviewing veteran Mike Chen is by my side as we choose to eat or accept defeat. I don't know how many stomachs you have. This will throw you off. So who is going to give in first? Time to find out. When it comes to all the different animal parts, what is your absolute favorite? I love the belly. A like pork belly? Pork belly, beef belly, any belly. Is that a Texas thing? No, it's, I think it's an Asian think thing. It's we, Asian. Love, we love pork belly. I love you moved to Texas for Asian food. That was a big part of my consideration, but also best barbecue in the US. Absolutely, and today we're gonna eat until we drop. Are you ready? That sounds like the most marvelous day ever, buddy. Let's do it. But we, yeah, we have to keep going until we're not, we're not there yet. Cool. The State Fair of Texas is considered one of the best in America. It started way back in 1886, and now it has an attendance that rivals the Minnesota State Fair. I've seen their sandwiches. I've eaten their unique food creations. Now it's time for some barbecue. Mike, location one, food number one. This is a day of barbecue, so I wanted to start with something familiar, because later it's gonna get pretty crazy. Magnolia Beer Garden, a hidden gem at the State Fair of Texas. It's an ideal destination for beer connoisseurs, and nothing goes better with beer than food. When you're doing your show, yeah. do you eat all the food? I try to eat all the food, but I may not always succeed, because sometimes you have a 50-pound lobster. On the menu here, you can find their famous barbacoa tacos or celebrate the spooky season with this, deep fried Halloween. Where did you find a 50 pound lobster? You go to lobster? Toronto and you get a 50 pound lobster. I think they made a lobster centipede and you thought it was one lobster. Maybe, but it looks like something that if it's crawling towards you, you should be running and throwing holy water at it. <laughs> All right, let's jump into this. This okay. is a pulled pork sandwich. Our breakfast starts with a warmed bun and a mount of juicy pulled pork topped with a tangy barbecue sauce. You ready for a big I'm bite? Ready. This is my first bite with Mike Chen. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is wet. It is raining pork oil over here. I love that it's heavy, but the sweetness from the barbecue gives it a little bit of balance. And also, find pulled pork that's not dry actually is difficult. This is a good sandwich. Should we keep going? Yeah. This barbecue train is powering straight ahead. Now we're headed inside the food court to a booth called simply Stuffed Wings. Right here, we've got a $10 wing. Have you ever paid for one wing that cost $10? I have not. It's pricey, but you can see why. Look how huge this is. This booth was first established at this fair in 2015 after the owner had already built a successful Thai restaurant outside the fair. Would you believe it if I was like, yo, this was like a tiny rabbit or something like that, a tiny yeah, mouse. Absolutely. Here you can order garlic fries or delectable pork pot stickers. But the wings, these wings are like no wings you've seen before. Usually you can find something like this coming out of Southeast Asia, maybe Thailand. They're usually gonna stuff it with glass noodles and some other Asian spices. Here, they've kind of changed your recipe to suit the audience at the Texas State Fair. First, these wings go from bone in to boneless with a few precision Steven Seagal-like arm breaks. I mean, I don't know what kind of stuffed wings you had before. This is crispy. Yeah, oh, it's super crispy on the outside. After deboning, the wings look like this. They're a bit limp, but she'll fix that soon. If this bird was on steroids and it flexed like this, oh, yeah, Now, the stuffing. Angel feeds the wings a mixture of spices, onions, cilantro, rice, and even more chicken. After the wings are looking plump and bloated, they're deep fried until the skin becomes irresistibly crispy. That's a beauty. I was half expecting juice to just fill my mouth and burn my tongue, which would have been 100% worth it. The rice and chicken inside could be its own dish. And the skin, that is so crunchy, but like thin and delicate. Oh, it's still steaming like crazy. We have kind of like a vinegar sauce here. Give it a little bit of a dip. Mm. Woo. 
I'm really happy with this. I mean, this will throw you off. What I love here is at the Texas State Fair, everybody's doing their best to recreate these common comfort foods of the USA. Then we have this Asian food stall where they just have taken a classic Asian recipe. They just tweaked it slightly and it's a perfect match. People should be eating this on Thanksgiving. Instead yeah. of uh, stove top. Stove top can go sit on the back burner and this shoving should take over. Oh yes, fiery statement. This is fantastic. A big winner for me. I like it too. Ferris Wheeler's Barbecue. These guys have been hosting a state fair theme at their own restaurant, including a 50-foot operational Ferris wheel. Yeehaw! There's a cruise ship coming through. We are on to our next food. We're outside and it is hot. It's hot, but this thing looks hotter. Their menu has unique items that still manage to hang with other fair food classics, like their creamy brisket mac and cheese or their sweet powdered sugar covered funnel fries. What kind of fries do you like the most? I like a thin, crunchy fry. But if these are crunchy, I'll like these too. I love, I love waffle fries. These are no ordinary waffle fries. This potato perfection is the foundation for their brisket waffle fry nachos. They shake the fries in a mixture of dry spices, salt, pepper, cayenne, paprika, garlic, onion powder, and more. Okay. You know why I love these rags? There's so many holes in them. There's so much crunch factor. Every single bite. I just spit out like five things saying that. It's all right. I'm tasting that too. Then to match our barbecue theme, they top it with a mountain of juicy smoked brisket, then the cheese sauce. <music> Lastly, add some fresh toppings and barbecue sauce. Here's what I found out. If you want to make something like a Texas a fine, you just add brisket to it. The other day I had like a peanut brittle, but they replaced the peanuts with brisket. That's Here awesome. we have fry nachos with brisket on top. Yeah. All right, I'm going barehanded. All right. There we go. I got a nice juicy bite here. Let's go for it. That's awesome. These briskets are so smoky and rich. Texas brisket, basically people just, every day they get up and they research brisket. Mm -hmm. And that's how you make it so amazing. The only way you should try brisket in a different state is if they're claiming to do Southern style barbecue. If they're like, we have our own New York style brisket, run. Exactly. All right, boom, French fries, brisket. This is how you know you're in Texas. Like, All right, we gotta hurry up and get on board. <laughs> When people say bigger doesn't mean better, they're lying. And no one does food bigger than Dickel's Smokehouse. I think that's Dickel. Where's Dickel? So you're right. Can I look at him? But just do a quick glance and look like past him. That's Dickel. I think Dickel can hear us. Oh, no, he's, no, he can't. Open since 1980, their menu now features one of this fair's, no, one of this country's most oversized giant wings. We'll get back to those in a moment. First, a meaty morsel to whet our appetite. Here, he has a menu item with about 13 words in it. Uh -huh. It's called, uh, you remember this, right? Oh, we practice. Come on. Lollipop fried bacon wrapped sand sandwich? Smoked quail breast. This is a quail breast. Here, they wrap it in bacon and fry the whole thing. When I saw our foods, I first had a little panic attack because I saw more tomatoes on mine. Why do you have three tomatoes? <laughs> like, Why am I getting more vegetables? But we have the same. Same meat, the tomatoes, I don't even think they're for eating. That might be too healthy for us today. Yeah. Today's about the barbecue meat challenge. Yeah. What's the challenge? You guys have to watch all the way to the end of the video twice. Yeah. And if you could watch all the ads too, and then support our sponsor. Let's go for it. Yeah. Mmm. Now I know why he needs bacon. Mm. A little bit dry. Yeah. But imagine that is one whole heck yeah. of a quail. We got some sauce here to lubricate it now. Let's try it out. Mm-hmm. Mm the jalapeno is that. Yeah, this is what you find out when you bite it in half. There's lots of stuff hidden in there that we didn't even know about. This is our appetizer. We're just building up. Wait, to this the main is the appetizer? Yeah, yeah, there's another one. Turkey legs are very popular in many fair settings. You can get it at Disneyland, Disney World, the Minnesota State Fair, but this is a different turkey part. Can you guess which one? <laughs> This pterodactyl wing lookalike is less popular than giant turkey legs, but for the life of me, I couldn't tell you why. I don't know why these are more in common. Look at this thing, it looks awesome. Doesn't it look better than a turkey leg? It looks better. Preparation here is straightforward. Smoke the turkey wings until they turn this rich, dark shade of roasted perfection. I don't know about the wingspan, but I'm about to find out. I'm gonna see if Whoa. it- oh, well, How it's... much effort is that taking? Yeah, it's thick. Oh. Are you sure we can eat this? Good. Pretty good. Look at that wingspan right there. It looks like your elbow. Oh, it's my arm? Yeah, forearm. Yeah, yeah, just right? about. Look at this skin. It's gonna be a little rough. 
That's very thick. And you can see the fat here. Yeah. This is still like big, thick chunks of unrendered fat. I do like the fat. That actually makes this taste more gelatinous -y texture. Oh my God. This is a workout. This upper part of the wing, it looks like a leg here. I got a nice piece. We've got some skin. We've got meat. Got a little fat there too. Oh, there is so much fat here. I am greasy. I could help a cow give birth right now. If you're going to help a cow give birth, you need to lube your arms up to your elbow. They just got to sh slide it up there. How do you know this? I've yeah. seen videos. I'll send you links. No, don't send me links. <laughs> no, I don't want those links. I don't. That's good. I think the flavor is much better. It tastes like smoked turkey, not a ham. At the Minnesota State Fair, for some reason, it's desirable to them for their turkey to taste like a pig. Some say turkeys drown when they look up into the ring. Is that right? I don't know Have you ever helped a turkey give birth? <laughs> Should we keep going? I'm learning a lot of stuff today. Our next stop, an icon at the State Fair of Texas. This is Fernie's. This place was started 50 years ago by John Winter and Wanda Fernie Winter. She was later labeled the queen of the state fair. These onion rings, you wanna try some? I do. This place built a legacy on funnel cakes, but we're here for something different. It starts with a side of onion rings made by the queen's daughter, Miss Erpio. Um. That's very satisfying. It's got really good flavor. Let's talk about this right here. For our main dish, the fried burnt end burrito. First of all, I was like, oh, burnt ends. What? So it's not brisket. Turns out burnt ends is brisket. Burnt ends. These delicious beefy morsels are not actually burnt, but they've turned black after smoking and developing a bark. Asian parents usually tell their kids if the meat is hard or burnt even a little bit, you can't eat it because it's poisonous. It's going to give you cancer, right? Yeah, that's my favorite thing yeah. to eat, though. These are the smoky, crunchy pieces that come from the ends of the brisket after it it's roasted for 12 to 14 hours. In Korea, someone will come by, take it off, and cut off all the little yeah, burnt parts like, for you. You can cut that off in my mouth. Right. I'm keeping it. The burnt ends are applied to a tortilla with a cream cheese, jalapeno, and bacon spread. Then two slices of pepper jack. Now wrap it and make sure it feels secure so it stays in one piece when it hits the deep fryer. Let's do the fresh, no-touch bite. Okay, no sauce. Oh, it's hot. That's like the hottest, most passionate kiss we have with food today. The meat is smoky, it's tender and delicious. I like the texture. I want my alarm clock to be like the crunchy sound this thing makes when I bite into it. But then you get hungry every morning. They have this cream cheese inside. You need to balance it out with a little bit of sweetness here from the barbecue. Then, onion oh, ring. Oh, you are onto something spectacular, my friend. And then maybe a throw a pickle on that. You think throw you a, a pickle, pickle on, it? on that. This is the perfect bite. Let's go for it. I think we just helped them create something new. Also, I think the pickle is almost necessary. You know, that little acid? Yes. Balances that cheese out. Okay, let's wrap it up. Oh, maybe I'll do a little conclusion. We ate this food, let's go eat some more food. That's Nailed it. We've reached our final location and our final bout was some banging barbecue. Welcome to Hans Mueller Sausage. They've been here since 1972, cementing their place in the State Fair record books and winning some awards along the way. Oh yeah, you better disinfect. Yeah, I touch people. <laughs> Our appetizer, one of the finalists for this year's Big Tech's Choice Awards, the pork shot. I think it's, they mean shot as in like a one-shotter. Like oh, you okay, just, okay, okay, okay. You just shove it down. It's like taking a vitamin. This cheesy, meaty bite of goodness is formed by wrapping smoked bacon around a piece of sausage, creating not a meat ball, but a meat bowl, waiting to be filled with creamy mac and cheese, then sprinkled with spicy barbecue rub before heading to the oven. Talk about a party in your friggin' mouth. That is very salty. I don't think this is gonna leave my stomach for a long, long time. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna just sit there. It's solid. For me, I was like really looking forward to the mac and cheese aspect of this, but it just disappeared in a river of oil. That sausage is so oily. I'm pulling out the oh, sausage the for the sausage second sausage. one. I agree with you. Oh, I like that better. The bacon is good as bacon. The mac and cheese, it's not coming through at all. It makes me a little sad. I want to praise this for a second. That smoky flavor came through. Yeah. This is today's final surprise, and I can't wait for Mike to see it. This ordinary looking ball is something special, created by Glenn Cusack in 2016. These are injectable great balls of barbecue. I think it's like a play on great balls of fire. Great ball of fire, yeah. After its debut, it became an instant hit. Now, there's something sticking out. The ball itself is made from shredded beef brisket that's formed into to a ball shape, then deep fried until it looks like this. Do you know what that is? It's a syringe. It's a syringe. Yeah. The best part, the flavor enhancing technology. This is like what I got my COVID shot with. I shouldn't be sitting next to you now. Here we go. Oh, and then here's the thing. You can get more. Suck oh. up more barbecue. Ooh. This is like a fun game now. Anyway, you know about that? All right. 
we could go find a quiet corner where we could eat some balls. More drama. We're right in the middle of a scene right now. And then out there, they're playing music. You can't see it. It's all white. But this meat is hot, and Mike Chen is ready. Time to power through. How many syringes are we supposed to pump in? I think two. All right, let's go for it. Wow, it's almost like a mashed brisket. I think what they did really well is that the barbecue sauce is perfect with us. But you know what worked just as well as injecting it? What? This right here. Also very effective. You want to do something? Okay, hold on. What do you want to do? I want to inject like as much as you can into this thing. It's hard overflow. So we're going to make this thing overdose on overdose barbecue right now. your brisket. Like make it plump up. And you're going to go in the same hole? Give it different holes. <laughs> All right? Oh, it's blooming oh, up. Yours is cracking. Don't let it crack, though. Okay. All right, ready? <laughs> Pop it. Oh, here it is. Pop it. The whole thing? Pop it. Oh. That's so much barbecue. And that is how you eat this. That was a flavor explosion. I think I overdosed myself. Congratulations, Woo. man. Now, this is the true Texas Fair experience. Thank you. Well done. It's time to figure out which barbecue was our favorite. We're going to talk about it next after this. Mike. Sonny, today we ate so many fun, new, innovative barbecue creations. I want to know right now, which was your favorite? Top of my head, stuffed chicken wings. First of all, skin is crispy. That's hard to do. Secondly, it's stuffed with more chicken and rice. It's like an Asian stuffing. Put this into your turkey next year. Are you being biased because you're choosing the only Asian thing we tried today? Maybe I am. And that's I'm okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> For me, my favorite today, I have to go turkey wing. Okay. I've seen a lot of turkey legs around, yeah. but seeing a turkey wing, the scale of it, it was beautiful. It was full of meat. It was full of, it was full of grease and fat. Yeah, yeah. we talked I mean, about it already. Yeah, 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 I appreciate this awesome day where a lot of new, innovative meat dishes were being had, so thank you. Absolutely, you're welcome. I paid for everything. Well, I offered. I didn't hear that. No, I did it not. It must have been very quiet. Best Ever Food Review Show is a small team of independent creators, and everything we do here works because of you guys. Click the link in our description to join our Patreon and receive exclusive benefits. A peace. Food number one, this is a day of barbecue, so I wanted to start with something familiar, because uh -huh. later, it's gonna get pretty crazy. Okay, whoa, whoa, so you're saying it's gonna get crazier than this crazy looking sandwich that's already in front of us. Is, that, this, is this pretty crazy for you? For I your mean, standards, it, for everything you've eaten, this is crazy? Once you take a bite, I have expected my shirt to pop off. <laughs> this is not good. For me, I feel like this brisket is a little barbecue junky, and it needs a fix. Yeah. And I'm its dealer, and it comes to me. It started one day, I gave it a little bit of a taste, and now it needs a barbecue. Yeah. And I say, hey man, I can make all your problems go away for $9, buddy. Inject it in the arm, just like Requiem for a Dream. Pump it in, and then the brisket right here. Ah, oh, finally <laughs> relaxed for the first time in days. It stops freaking out, it has a nice nap. Boom, guys, that is the end of our video. I want to say a huge thank you to Mike Chen next to me for sacrificing his body to eat all this food. It was not healthy. Well, thank you so much for having me, my friend. Always been so much looking forward to this moment right here, so. And it fun happened. Day. Finally. Finally. Just a short 12-hour day at the fair. Guys, you can go follow Mike Chen on his YouTube channel right here, Strictly Dumpling. Otherwise, that is it for this video. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. A piece. Peace. A piece. A and then just put these fingers up. Oh, really? All right, got, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta, I'm gonna run a 5K.